Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace in the presence of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, where he presented His Majesty the King with the annual GSA report, which contains the sports achievements made by the people of Bahrain in the past period. His Majesty hailed the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid in serving Bahraini sports and the field visits he had conducted to youth and sports federations, clubs and centers, which had a large impact on supporting the youth and sports movements. He commended his keenness on raising the kingdom's status in various sports events through launching initiatives to invest energies and talents in the youth and sports sectors and encourage Bahraini youth to participate in them. His Majesty praised the honorable sports achievements made by the kingdom at the regional and global levels, affirming the continuous keenness on providing all support and encouragement to athletes to continue their efforts and successful march. His Majesty expressed pride in Bahrain's promising youth energies and talents that are keen on honoring the kingdom in all events and championships. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks and appreciation for the royal support of His Majesty the King to Bahraini sports, which contributed to making major sports achievements for Bahrain to occupy a prominent position at the level of continental and international sports. His Highness expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for receiving him and the members of the GSA Board of Directors. He stated that Bahraini sports is witnessing an honorable age during the era of His Majesty the King as a result of his support to sports and athletes, which had a large impact on achieving successes that contributed to the development and progress of the sports sector. His Highness added that the royal support to sports resulted in the implementation of a number of development projects to develop the performance and work quality of the sports system and contributed to the development of the national team's technical levels which were able to make honorable achievements for the kingdom and increase its presence in various sports championships and events. His Highness pledged to His Majesty to continue to serve the sports movement to achieve His Majesty's aspirations of raising the level of Bahraini sports and its global status. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safriya Palace, Uriel Pearl, partner of the Israeli sculptor Daniel Kafri, Joy Malka Rothenberg, and Dr. Raphael Nagel, who are members of the Abrahamic Business Circle, where they handed His Majesty an artistic sculpture representing the Peace Dove, done by Daniel Kafri, which is awarded to leaders of countries in appreciation of their efforts to establish peace, which comes on appreciation an appreciation of His Majesty's role in spreading the values of peace and coexistence among nations. His Majesty welcomed his guests and expressed thanks to the artist Daniel Caffrey for this gift. His Majesty affirmed that Bahrain has always been a place that respects religions without any discrimination. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the great success of organizing and holding the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022. His Highness affirmed that this resounding success embodies the insightful visions of His Majesty the King and his unlimited support in harnessing all possibilities to host this global sporting event. He praised all the efforts made to organize the event, noting the support and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which had an impact on attaining the Kingdom's current international status. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa on the success of Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022. The Deputy Prime Minister paid tribute to His Majesty the King for his keenness to promote the Kingdom's reputation in various fields, fast track co comprehensive development, and further the civilizational and economic achievements. He noted that the remarkable success in organizing the motorsport event and the care and support of His Majesty the King enabled Bahrain to become a home for motorsport in the Middle East and attract world attention to the kingdom.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable congratulations from the personal representatives of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the success of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022. His Highness expressed pride in all the national efforts and making the race a success, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity in light of the comprehensive development march of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable congratulations from the Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa on the success of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022. His Highness attributed the Kingdom's success in hosting the major international motorsports event to His Royal Highness's ongoing support to the efforts of the national workforce. He affirmed that the achievement adds to the Kingdom's track record of accomplishments and confirms Bahrain's regional and international standing as a major host of international sporting events. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable congratulations from Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa on the great success of Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022. The Deputy Prime Minister affirmed that the success of the race demonstrated Bahrain's ability under the leadership of His Majesty the King, the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and with the efforts of Team Bahrain to overcome challenges and turn them into opportunities. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to bless His Royal Highness with health and happiness and wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The National Guard Commander His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa met the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee in Pakistan, General Nadeem Rada, at the Joint Staff Headquarters in Rawal Pindi on the sidelines of His Highness's official visit to Pakistan. Upon arrival, the National Guard Commander was welcomed by the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee and a number of Pakistani military commanders. The national anthems of Bahrain of Pakistan were played and then His Highness inspected the Guard of Honor, whose members lined up to salute. Him. The chairman welcomed His Highness's visit to Pakistan, noting that it is within the framework of efforts to enhance the Bahraini-Pakistani military relations. His Highness lauded the advanced level reached by military cooperation between the two countries, praising the role played by the Pakistani army in supporting regional security and stability. The two sides discussed issues of mutual interest as well as the progress of the ongoing Bahraini-Pakistani friendship and cooperation relations at all levels, particularly in the military field. The Speaker of the Representatives Council for the Yazainal affirmed the keenness to harness energies and intensify efforts to translate the directors of His Majesty the King within broad frameworks of cooperation and coordination between the legislative and executive authorities, which are increasingly progressing and expanding with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Zainal expressed the pride of the Parliament and all its members and the royal praise of His Majesty the King during his chairmanship of the Cabinet meeting. She noted that the directors of His Majesty the King are the roadmap for national parliamentary action and that the support of His Royal Highness is an essential basis for effective cooperation that achieves the aspirations and desired goals for the country and citizens. Zainal affirmed that the Representatives Council renewed the pledge and loyalty to His Majesty the King to move forward and take firm steps in achieving aspirations and cooperation with the government. The Speaker of the Representatives Council for the Yazina Health Talks with her Indonesian counterpart, Pan Maharani, on the sidelines of the Parliamentary Division's participation in the Interparliamentary Union General Assembly. Zainal affirmed her keenness to consolidate cooperation and coordination between Bahrain and Indonesia, expressing pride in the development and growth of the bilateral relations as a result of the support of His Majesty the King and the Indonesian President. Zainal hailed the efforts of the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to strengthen partnership and cooperation with Indonesia. For her part, Maharani expressed deep pride in the growing Bahrain-Indonesian relations and the high levels of cooperation and joint coordination. The Speaker of the Representatives Council for Ziyi Zainal attended the meeting of the IPU High-Level Advisory Group on Countering Terrorism and Violent Extremism. Zainal called for the establishment of a global conference to examine the extent to which international legislation and laws related to combating violence, terrorism and extremism are harmonized. She affirmed that parliaments are required to consider legislation and laws related to combating terrorism and work to update and develop them, especially in regards to the methods that threaten international peace and security. She noted that the phenomena of terrorism, violence and extremism are cross-border crimes, which calls for more cooperation and coordination between countries. 
The Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh affirmed that the directors of His Majesty the King and his keen interest to achieve progress and development for the country and its citizens at all levels is an incentive to intensify national efforts to accelerate growth and development. He noted that His Majesty's keenness to enhance cooperation between the legislative and executive authorities devoted joint and integrated work aimed at strengthening the foundations and pillars of democratic practice and the rule of law and institutions. He expressed the Council's keenness to coordinate with the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in response to His Majesty's directives to devote national efforts to achieve further development for Bahrain. He commended the prominent national role of His Royal Highness in developing government work. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa delegated the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa to inaugurate the Gulf Real Estate Exhibition at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. On this occasion, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah expressed his deepest thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness for delegating him to inaugurate the exhibition. He noted that His Royal Highness's patronage of this annual exhibition, which is organized by Al Hilal Conference and Exhibitions, affirms his support to the specialized exhibition industry and his interest in the real estate sector as one of the most important non-oil sectors that is positively active in the domestic product which has witnessed growth and prosperity in light of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah stated that Bahrain is an attractive environment for real estate investment, especially with its solid legal coverage that keeps pace with the best practices. He stressed that the growth of real estate development companies and their quality projects is a reflection of the efforts made by the government and the facilitations provided to this sector. The Deputy Premier praised the achievements and the level of partnership between the public and private sectors to provide social housing options and solutions for citizens through the existing cooperation between the Ministry of Housing real estate development companies and local banks. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah stressed the importance of specialized real estate exhibitions as they represent a forum that brings together real estate developers from Bahrain with their counterparts in the GCC countries. In the presence of the Deputy President of the Supreme Judicial Council and President of the Court of Cassation Advisor Abdullah bin Hassan al bainin the regional conference entitled Strengthening Judicial Cooperation in the Middle East and North Africa, Judges and Prosecutors at the Forefront of Combating Money Laundering and Terrorism Financing began. The conference was inaugurated under the patronage of the Eternal General Dr. Ali bin Fadl al in cooperation with the International Institute for Criminal Justice and Human Rights and the Executive Office of Anti-Money Laundering and Counterterrorism finance with a wide participation of specialists from Bahrain and abroad. So the most important things of this conference is the fact that we have 17 countries in the room, uh, that these countries will work together for three, day, three days now 
and uh, and that's the first event we do in the region after the COVID crisis. So that's for us very, very important. And uh, the most important thing is also that uh, this conference is actually sponsored by the European Commission and, uh, and we are very happy to be there. So for us, it's very important that every country works the same way. Uh, we try to have a um, cooperation with each and every country, not only in that region, we work globally, so all over the world, but for Bahrain, we believe that uh, the Kingdom of Bahrain has made a lot of effort uh, to comply with all these AML CFT rules, and uh, we want to support the Kingdom, so that's a bit the idea. We work with them, uh, they work with us, and this is a cooperation. It's, a, it's, it's, it's really a cooperation and collaboration with the, the Kingdom of Bahrain that we have. This conference is critically important because in the fight against uh, money laundering for many, many years, the judicial systems have been left aside, although they are one of the most important part of the chain in the fight against uh, um, uh, illicit profit. So um, today what we are trying to do is to have judges and prosecutors meet together, talk together, identify the legal problems that they are facing in confiscating assets, in sentencing um, uh, criminals. And we will, we will note, I'm sure, that um, all of them are facing the same difficulties. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Al Zayani, participated in the 48th Organization of Islamic Cooperation Council of Foreign Ministers in Islamabad under the patronage of the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Amran Khan, and in the presence of the Ministers of Foreign Affairs of Member States and the participation of the Secretary General of the Organization, Hussein Ibrahim Taha. The Minister of Foreign Affairs delivered a speech in in which he expressed Bahrain's appreciation for the efforts undertaken by the OIC to enhance solidarity between Islamic countries towards various challenges and difficulties facing the Islamic nation. Zayani stressed that Bahrain calls for a joint Islamic diplomatic effort to contribute to a comprehensive and sustainable peace in Europe to settle disputes through direct negotiations. The minister further elaborated that Islamic countries are facing major challenges today that stand in the way of achieving the security, stability and prosperity for the benefit of the people. He stressed Bahrain's adherence to the basic Arab and Islamic constants and the need to achieve a just and lasting peace in the Middle East region through a just and comprehensive solution to the Palestinian cause in a manner that meets the aspirations of the Palestinian people. The minister also said that the Islamic countries are called to intensify and strengthen cooperation among themselves and, which, and, and with countries of the world to confront the repercussions of COVID-19. He stressed the importance of strengthening joint cooperation between member states and unifying efforts to confront all forms of terrorism. He further expressed Bahrain's condemnation of the Houthi terrorist group's continued threat to the security and stability of the region, its continuous violations of the rights of the brotherly Yemeni people, and the targeting of civilians and civilian facilities in Saudi Arabia and the UAE. He stressed the need to reach a political solution to the Yemeni crisis in accordance with the approved international references. The minister also affirmed Bahrain's supportive position for the Afghan people and their choices, and that they decide themselves without any foreign interference in their affairs. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Bar Rashid Al Zayani, met in Islamabad the GCC Secretary General, Dr. Nayef Al Hajraf, on the sidelines of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation Council of Foreign Ministers. The two sides discussed a number of issues related to strengthening joint Gulf cooperation and the efforts made by the General Secretariat to implement the decisions of the Supreme Council of the GCC and the Ministerial Council aimed at advancing the process of joint action towards its goals and strengthening cooperation relations between the GCC and the other countries and global blocks. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with his Pakistani counterpart, Makhdoum Shah Mahmoud Qurashi. Zayani conveyed to his Pakistani counterpart the greetings and congratulations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the Pakistani leadership and people on the occasion of Pakistan's celebration of its 75th Independence Day. They also extended their best wishes for success for the 48th session of the OIC Council for Foreign Affairs. The meeting discussed the close friendship and cooperation between the two countries and means to strengthen and develop them in various fields to serve common interests and aspirations. The two sides also highlighted the topics on the meeting's agenda and means to enhance the role of OIC regarding global developments. The meeting discussed a number of topics of common interest. 
The Minister of Foreign Affairs met in Islamabad with the Thai Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs Don Pramo Dwinai. They discussed relations between Bahrain and Thailand and means to develop bilateral cooperation in various fields. They also reviewed the latest regional and international developments and issues of common interest. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning Engineer Assam Khalaf paid a field visit to a number of development and service projects in the capital governorate. The Minister stressed that these projects come within the framework of efforts supporting the goals of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and with the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He indicated that the Ministry is working on implementing a number of projects in order to upgrade infrastructure services and provide high-level municipal services in various regions of the Kingdom. He also explained that the Ministry recently started the work of a project to rehabilitate some roads in Complex 644 in Waitrat area. And the project will include the rehabilitation and paving of a number of roads in order to raise the level of road efficiency and improve traffic safety. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Zaid Zayani, affirmed the authority's keenness to enhance the position of the Manama Sug as one of the most important tourist attractions and one of the most important markets of its kind in the region. During the Minister's inspection tour of the Manama Gold Festival, Zayani confirmed that the authority devotes a large part of its attention and initiatives to revitalizing this market in order to attract more visitors. The Minister pointed out that the Manama Gold Festival represents a unique initiative that reflects the keenness of the BTEA to support the merchants of the Manama Sug. The second deputy of the Representatives Council, Ali Zayed, chaired the weekly meeting where the council approved a draft law on acquiring the cost of establishing and developing infrastructure and in construction areas. The council also approved a draft resolution regarding the BCCI and another report regarding establishing a rehabilitation center for those who are about to marry. The council then approved four reports on opening offices in the ports of the Kingdom of Bahrain affiliated with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs to certify all transactions, conducting a mandatory ex medical examination for domestic workers upon their arrival in the Kingdom of Bahrain, electricity support for civil councils, and raising the limit of the source of family income from 600 to 800 Bahraini dinars. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs Under Secretary for Political Affairs, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, visited the Embassy of Pakistan in Bahrain to offer his condolences on the demise of the former President of Pakistan, Mohammad Rafiq Darrar, where he was received by the Ambassador of Pakistan to Bahrain, Mohammed Ayyub. The Under Secretary for Political Affairs expressed Bahrain's sincere condolences and sympathy to the government of Pakistan and its people, recalling the late President and his outstanding contributions to the service of his homeland and the causes of his people people and Islamic nation and his keenness to consolidate and develop the close historical relations between Bahrain and Pakistan and enhance them to achieve the common interests of both countries and their peoples. He also wished Pakistan continued security, progress and prosperity. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adel Assumi, received the Speaker of the Parliament of South Africa, Mapisa Nakakola, and her accompanying delegation on the sidelines of participating in the 144th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union in Indonesia. Al Assumi stressed that strengthening Arab African relations is one of the main priorities of the Kingdom of Bahrain. He added that the foreign policy of the Kingdom of Bahrain is based on strengthening relations of cooperation and friendship with all countries based on the royal vision of His Majesty the King and the unwavering support and follow up of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown. Prince and Prime Minister. The Speaker of the South African Parliament expressed her country's keenness to strengthen relations with the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Arab countries, especially in the economic field. She expressed her deep appreciation for the great role played by the Arab Parliament in strengthening Arab-African relations.